next up, let's talk about the summer drought that we're upon, Jordan. Need water! So parched! Uh. <laughs> yeah, so the summer drought, um, it's its real, guys. The struggle is real. Um, you know, I was going to talk about how um, in, in the video game industry, all these games come out in the fall. That's the big release window for the biggest AAA games. Um, and then, of course, as we just talked about, a bunch of them get delayed out of the fall and become spring AAA games. Um, but we still don't have a lot of games coming out in the summer. Um, this year, in June, we were supposed to have No Man's Sky. Now that just came out. Um, Mirror's Edge came out in June. Um, here in just a few days, Deus Ex is going to be coming out. Um, so there's there's games here and there, but it's definitely sparse. And there's almost never a big release in July, um, which sucks. You know, it's just a big, wide-open hole if you don't have... Um, brand new stuff to play so um, I really think in the coming years we're going to see that change because people are playing video games year round it's not just kids who play during the school year and then you know don't play games during the summer when they're on break which I don't even ha know what the hell that means because I played probably more video games during summer break when I was a kid in school exactly then um, in the fall yeah. exactly so I because I, I wasn't during school so I just had more time to play and I probably would have bought more video games if publishers would have smartened up. But um, hopefully I think that that's going to change in the next couple of years. Because I think they're going to see that, um, especially for these lower tier AAA games, maybe like Deus Ex that aren't getting the fanfare that uh, some of the bigger ones are going to get. Um, put that in the middle of the summer and, and people will be interested. People will want to talk about it and play it. And um, especially when there's so few games coming out we just talked about how it's dumb for final fantasy to, to delay from the end of the summer in september into the deep fall where all these huge titles are going to be mixed in with it and it's going to lose a lot of hype um so yeah i think you get more hype um as a triple a game if you release in the summer and i i really hope that, that changes what do you guys think so, go ahead Tom. Yeah, so you, you kind of hit on it a little bit. But, yeah, the big thing to remember here is that we're kind of the first gen – us and people that are 5 to 10 years older than us are the first generation of gamers that are now becoming adults, right? So that's going to influence – I'm not exactly sure how, but that's going to influence, yeah, when we have the most spare time and when we buy most of our games. Whereas it used to be primarily kids you were selling to who are going to get their Christmas presents in the fall. Sure. Maybe that's changing a lot. I would love to see all the marketing numbers around this because, you know, I'm just speaking <laughs> – anecdotally um but that's just one thing to consider but you're right there is there is a, a drought every summer i mean i think it was what last summer we got arkham knight was it or was that that might have been the previous I think it was summer. june 23rd but it was of course delayed from the fall right. and then the spring but uh, frankly i'm totally fine with it i guess because i always have such a backlog that it's a great time to catch up sure on that but maybe i wouldn't have a backlog at all if games were just released more sporadically throughout the year instead of all at once in one goddamn month right yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah i totally agree with that part too um so i i agree with you jordan that like as a kid uh i i wanted to, games to release in like you know towards the end of may when school was getting out and then i'd have the summer to play nope all these games would release in the fall and i was i was a uh you know obviously a full-time student and also i played football so i had zero time to play video games in the fall play Abs football yeah I was an oh, All-State Center. Yeah. Shit, Whoa. man. Yeah. Uh, I played for the All-Star team here when I graduated. Um, How has this never come up? I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I played football. There's that. Yeah, so I really had no time to play video games in the fall at all, you know? And then, obviously, as the year goes on, there's midterms and finals, so that got worse and worse. And then the summer would kind of like, oh, I'll play all those games I got in the fall that I didn't have a chance to play, you know? So it's kind of like that was my backlog time. Um, please, CD Project Red, if you're listening to this, Make Cyberpunk 2077 a summer game. That'll give you the most room to breathe. People will love that then. Um, for the longest time with Xbox 360, summer was when people played arcade games. There's still mm. a weird stigma with arcade games or indie games now where I have a lot of friends who don't play indie games. Uh, Dom has just basically gotten into indie games. There's, And I don't think it's because you didn't think they were real games. They just you never got around to them. But I have, there seems like a stigma, with, especially with a lot of my personal friends, like indie games aren't real games, which is weird to me because indie games are some of the best experiences I have in video games. Um, 
so yeah, the summer was a good time for that, but it hasn't really come around. You know, with Below getting delayed and Cuphead getting into a deeper development, um, it was weird that they didn't have a summer arcade kind of thing this year. I think they were planning on that, especially with like inside releasing and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think people, what do they say? Explore the calendar. I think that needs to happen more. There I think, you go. I think we're having way too much of this. We need a release in holiday because that's when people buy video games. And yes, that is kind of the case with young kids whose parents buy them presents. But as you said, we're growing into adults and we have different free time. We, I mean, technically we can make our own free time with the vacation days. But like, I think people need to explore the calendar more. You know, instead of trying to hit that fall release window, this goes to a publishers really, not so much developers a lot of the time. Instead of trying to, you know, jam in your game in that fall and then having a delay, how about just let them make the game and then, hey, it'll be done by March. Let's just release it in the summer when no one's around, you know? Instead of yeah. trying to hit fall, then getting delayed, and then maybe possibly going back to the last topic, having a huge day one patch. You know, let them, let yeah. them a couple more months, let them release in the summer. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with you. It's you know, it's a weird thing of like, yes, this is a backlog time, but then you made your own co- counterpoint, Dom, of like, there wouldn't be such a backlog if people didn't just muddy the waters in like these very specific right. like three week periods. Yeah. Um, and I I would like to meet the people at these publishing teams who pick the dates because if I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, we need to delay Final Fantasy. Let's pick the end of November. Look at all these other games releasing. It's just weird to me that they don't. I, I honest. I know that there's Final Fantasy is so different than a lot of those games that are releasing, but even then, you have, I think it's companies don't realize how diverse vi- video gamers are becoming. There, it's not so much there's people that are straight shooter players. There's like us three, we play a huge array of games. You know, yeah. I'm just as much interested in a Final Fantasy type game as I am in a a Battlefield type game. And I think a lot of companies kind of lose track of that. Of like, yeah, they are totally. going to make a decision on this or that, and people don't. I don't know. It's weird. But, I totally uh, agree. There's, to some extent, video game publishers these days are out of touch with the gamer. Um, you know, you look at, like, EA Play at E3, and that was just a joke. Like, what type of gamer would have been like, yeah, man, that was a cool press conference. That's exactly what I wanted, you know? Yeah, like, I it love football. I sense. didn't. I wouldn't want to see Peyton Manning go out there and talk for 15 minutes about Madden. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. Like, I want to see Madden gameplay. Cool. Show me the gameplay. Cool. Get over that. Like, when they you bring don't out know the... me yet. But you will. <laughs> when they bring out the soccer player or football, exactly. if you're foreign, and he talks for 15 minutes, like, oh, Pele, the greatest soccer player of all time, still don't care what he has to say. I, st- <laughs> I still don't care, you know? So, so Jordan, that was a really good point. Um, because I think there's a lot of passionate gamers making games, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but maybe not so many passionate gamers making the business decisions for these games, right? Sure, I, sure. I'm, again, I don't know. I could be way off. Yeah. But. I feel like a lot of the people on the business side of uh, publishers don't really have any interest in most games, right? I mean, they might not mind them, but just like I don't give any, I don't give two shits about what the company I work for makes. I don't care. Like, yeah. Right? So maybe there needs to be more passionate, people passionate about well, games on the business side of, of these companies, too. Here's the thing that I think a lot of people need to know is like, if you're passionate about video games, so people have this weird thing like, okay, if I love video games, there's only two things I can do. I can either be a video game journalist or I can make video games. Right. There's a, there's a lot of other, other options. Hey, if you're good with people and you like engaging with people but you also love video games, maybe try going to school and maybe just learning and training classes and stuff. Maybe be a PR person for a video game company. Like there's many different avenues. Business side. If you love, if you love business but you also love video games, try to be a video game – part of the video game publishers marketing team like there's many different avenues if you love video games to get involved with it you just need to figure out what works for you you know maybe you're not good at math so developing probably isn't for you but you're good with people so pr might be the perfect job for you in the video game industry i think people need to explore this more because you know these companies are going to hire people who are qualified for the position so when a, a publisher is looking for people in their marketing team they're going to look for people who have marketing skills a lot of those people who apply are marketing students maybe not that love video games and it's because a lot of these people who love video games don't think that's a an, an option for them they're like oh those are for business people not business people who also love video games so i think people need to explore that more and understand that there's more it, to the video game industry and how you can get in than just being a journalist or being a developer like there's a lot of avenues there so those are probably actually the two hardest avenues to get into i would yeah, imagine <laughs> i i agree yeah there's a lot of competition there you know so i think yeah your chance of getting in other places and there's so many different variations like even video game developers don't just need developers they need pr people they need coordinators they need a lot of stuff so yeah that's that's my little spiel on that but as far as as far as like the summer drought 
Uh, I hope we get back into the position where this is like huge indie scene. There were some sparse indie titles here and there with Abzu and Overcooked and stuff, and some AAAs too. Um, explore the calendar is my final thought.